Ooh, gotta hype myself up for this intro. Here we go. Okay. What is up, guys? It's your boy, Daniel, tv 2 nno Vaughn Savage, Fair Productions, whatever you want to call me. In the last episode, we got our boy. Oh, shoot, I am not in. That's moving. There we go. We got our boy. Darmanitan, aka Donkey Kong, he is level 14. He knows the moves. Headbutt, rollout, fire fang, and rage, and he is holding a cell battery. He is our only Pokemon because we had two encounters. Uh if you don't want any spoilers, I won't tell you what those are. I'll let you go watch the video. Okay, you've had plenty of time to pause the video and go rewatch it. We had a Dusknoir encounter, we had a Hydreigon encounter. The Dusknoir just would not stay in the ball, and uh, the Hydreigon had Dragon Rage and almost killed our boy Donkey Kong over here. Uh, got him down to 3 HP, which was really scary, so we had to run. Uh, in today's episode, I'm hoping that we can maybe get another encounter, and hopefully we can get a second, uh, second mod to add to the squad, but... So... I mentioned how in the last episode the upload schedule was going to be Saturday, Tuesday, Thursday. And the first episode of the series, I fucked up that schedule. I said it's going to get uploaded on Saturday, it gets uploaded on Sunday. Now that's almost a good thing because you guys didn't have any expectations of me. You didn't expect the video to be uploaded on Saturday. But it's also bad because in the video I said several times that it would be uploaded Saturday. And I was wrong about that, and I apologize for that. Uh, as I mentioned in the description of that video, uh, Pokemon gave me some copyright problems, and then once I, as soon as I sorted that out, Twitch just would not let me export the video to YouTube. So, what I had to do is I had to download it to my computer, and I had to upload it manually, and it was just a pain. But here we are. We got the first up episode uploaded. I hope you guys enjoyed that. It was a very solid episode. Today's episode should not be quite as long as the last episode. And in fact, let me get a timer started because I completely forgot to do that and I was going to do that so I would know how long my episode has been going for. So there we go. Timer is going. Last episode was over an hour long, almost an hour 20 in fact. And I was only expecting it to be about an hour. So I apologize for it being so long. Today's episode should only be about 45 minutes. That should be, as I mentioned in the last episode, about the norm for this series is around 45 minutes. Sometimes we'll have longer episodes, especially if I like lose and I need to restart the game, we'll have a longer episode. But most episodes we're gonna keep it somewhat short, 45 minutes. Shorter than most of the actual playthrough episodes that I've had in the past with most of my other series. My Madden series was usually an hour. My Watchdog series was usually an hour. My Long Shot series, that had like a two and a half hour episode. That was like a movie. So, but this series, gonna keep it flat, gonna keep it around 45 minutes. I think you guys get the picture. I think what you guys want to see is some Pokemon. So where we left off in the last episode, we had just finished healing our... Uh, Donkey Kong, or Darmanitan, as I now know it is pronounced, not Darmanitan, so I was pronouncing it correctly. Uh, we just finished healing him up, and I believe, if I am correct, that we are in Striaton City, if that's how it's pronounced. Now, where did we come from? Did we come from over here? I think we did. No. No, I would have recognized that. Because I want to explore everything there is to do in this game, but I need to know where we came from. Okay, we came from over here, right? Maybe not. What's over here? Okay, this is the Dream Yard. I don't know what this is. No, I definitely have not been here, but this is a new encounter. So, should we do this first? Yeah, why not? Let's just get this right out of the way. Let me see how many balls I have real quick. I have 11 Pokeballs, a Premier Ball, and a Nest Ball. Okay, so we've got 12 balls to work with. Should be good. I'm actually... We need to use that Nest Ball as soon as possible because Nest Balls work best with weaker Pokemon as we run into this uh, trainer battle. Uh, we! We are training here. Now let's train Pokemon together. Okay. But yeah, Nest Balls work with weaker Pokemon. Obviously, as the game progresses, we're going to see stronger and stronger Pokemon, so that Nest Ball is going to be more and more useless as the game progresses. So that's probably going to be the first ball I throw out on the next but on the next encounter. Yeah, now you have a Seismitoad. That kind of looks like Toxicroak. Uh, it also looks like a water type, which is really scaring me. Which is a problem. I have no way 
of dealing with water types in this series until I get a new encounter. Now luckily, this thing is only level 8, it uses supersonic and misses, so I should be able to kill this with another headbutt, and I do. <sighs> Let's see how much XP I'll gain for that. Nice, level 15. Alright, uh, now again, I'm not sure if this is the final form of this Pokemon, or if this thing's gonna evolve. Now to me, Darmanitan, oh, Sc oh, I know this thing! This thing is cool. Okay. I I've always liked the way this thing looks. I have no idea what typing it is or anything about it. I just like the way it looks. Uh, now, it looks like a normal type, right? So I'm gonna go... It, it doesn't really matter what I go with. So I'll go with Fire Fang because it's staff. Hopefully it's not secretly a water type or some bullshit like that. It shouldn't be, and it's not because it faints in one hit. I could have fainted in one hit if it was a water type, but it would have been not very effective, obviously. And we defeat Servant Crystal. You have talents as a trainer. Thank you very much. Okay. So onward we go into the Dream Yard. Now that we're obviously going to need cut for. Uh, I have not even seen a gym yet, so we can't get that yet. That is a hole, and I cannot go down there. So I guess we're just battling this guy. Got yeah, a lot of battles right here, and this is good for grinding. It's bad, though, because the stronger Dermanitan gets, the harder it's going to be to catch a Pokemon, because we're just going to one-hit KO everything. Which is something I'm really worried about, so I might actually leave this guy after we finish battling him. Tornadus, what the fuck is that? God, we're seeing only Gen 5. Oh, Jesus, that thing looks like a legend. Is that a legendary? Shit. Jesus, okay. What typing is that? Hang on, let me look up what typing this thing is. Tornadus. It is a flying type. Okay, so we will go with a rollout then. Hopefully this thing doesn't have, like, a brave bird or something. Okay, no more. We're fine. All right. Tornadus is down. Almost level 15. Almost level 16. Got a Mime Jr. coming out. Mime Jr. is a Gen 4 Pokemon. I know it very well. And we're stuck in rollout, so hopefully he doesn't send out, like, a Steelix or something that's just gonna tank a rollout and body me with something else. Level 16. Very good. He's got a Surf's Kit. Uh, it's unfortunate that thing is going to get absolutely destroyed. Oh, it goes for Quick Attack. Okay, so I got some damage off. But it should get absolutely destroyed by this rollout, and it will. Okay! So Darmanitan, continuing to just body everything. My Pokemon fought well, didn't they? I mean, they all got one shot. You did two damage. I wouldn't call that fighting well. Now, can I get... Are you... You don't even look like a trainer. Hey, hey you. What was the first Pokemon you received? Darmanitan really didn't... Snow Run? Yes, I want a snow run, but is it, okay, is it going to be a snow run or is it going to be randomized? Either way. It, it, so this is a free Pokemon. But wait, shit. Oh, shit. <sighs> but the thing is, static encounter, this is a static encounter. And with the dice lock, with a static encounter... You know, there's a special rule for, st for static encounters that I did not mention in the last episode, and I actually didn't know about until I actually read up on it afterward when I was typing out the description. Um, and apparently, with static encounters, you do not roll a die. You don't do the dice rolling uh, to determine what number it gets. Instead, you get to choose what number it is. But because you're choosing, you have to make a sacrifice. You have to release one of the Pokemon of the number you assign it to. So if I had, like, a Weedle that was a 4, I would just give this thing the number 4 and then get rid of the Weedle. But right now our only Pokemon is Darmanitan. So if I want to get this Snow Run, or it might even be another Pokemon, I have to get rid of Darmanitan. And I really, really do not want to do that. So as much as it pains me to pass up on this guy's offer... I'm going to have to. Sorry, buddy. My, my. If you want to come back and talk to me again, okay. Now, I'm going to have to remember that he's there. Because if I catch a really shit Pokemon, I will gladly exchange it for that snow. In fact, if we get an encounter up here, I don't know if... Oh, there's tall grass up there. Oh, wait, can I get over there, though? Shit, I don't think so. Can I go through here? No. Okay, yeah, so we have to have Cut to get over there. So, we're not going to get an encounter here yet. We get a Reaper Cloth. I think that boosts Ghost-type moves. Not, maybe Dark-type. I'm not entirely sure. Oh, it's Love by a... Okay, that's not at all what I thought it was. Okay. So, we're going to head back to Streeton, considering we have nothing else to do here. 
Now again, if I get an encounter, and it's a really bad Pokemon, then I will come and take that. Now, what do you want? What is this? Is this the gym? This is the gym. Triple trouble. Okay, so we're going to wait on the gym real quick. We're going to see what else there is. Oh, the trainer school. Okay. Let's see what's in the trainer school. All right, what do you want? Trainer school exists to meet the demands of trainers who want to know more about Pokemon because they love them. Aw, isn't that sweet? Pokemon have mysterious powers called abilities. Ability blah, 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 blah. I know what that is. Okay. Are any of you going to give me an item? That's what I want to know. You have cool hair. You look like a Team Galactic member. Gen 4. Some moves can only be taught with TMs. TM, 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 TM. Evolution. Blah, 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 blah. Status Oh, I didn't... Okay, that's an antidote. You gonna give me an item? Wake up a sleeping Pokemon? D Gee, I wonder. It's almost like when you're sleeping, you need to be awakened. Oh, who'll give me this? What's this? A full heal. That's not bad at all. Thank you very much. Okay. Alright, sounds good. Now, this is Sharon, right? Or Sharen? I've heard it might be Sharen. I... I called him Sharon all of last episode. If it's Sharen, that's really embarrassing. Uh, it would make sense, because Sharon is a female name. This is obviously a male. Or I believe it's a male, anyway. Uh, so, yeah. Let's talk to Sharen. When a Pokemon is poisoned, its HP decreases well badly. Oh, wait, I forgot to give him the voice. Hey, Daniel! Have you come looking for the gym leader? Um, no, but no. Nothing can prove your skills as a trainer like real battles. That's why challenging gym leaders is great practice. By the way, Daniel, will you have a battle with me? Abso-fucking-lutely. I want to test how important items are in battles. Sure. <laughs> no. Yes, I will. Well, let's see how effective my items are. Or maybe I should test how well I can battle without items? Anyway, this is an indoor match, so let's battle without getting too rough. No, fuck you. I'm gonna fucking body you. Dude, the battle music in this game is so sick. Oh, I know I talked a lot about the, the music in the last episode, but god damn, it's so good. Fuck, it's so good. I might have to say this is better than Gen 4 music. At least the battle music. And that says a lot, because Gen 4 music just hits so close to home with me. There's some songs that can't be topped, but some of this music is really good. Now, I don't have anything that can do much to an Onyx, so this is actually kind of a problem. Um, fire, like, yeah, he resists everything. Um, I guess I'll go roll out. If he has an Earthquake or something, shit. No, I'll go Fire Fang. At least Fire Fang I don't get locked into. I know Rollout would probably do the most damage, but I can... Oh, wow. Okay, there we go. That's fine. Yeah, Fire Fang is stab. I can change it. I can heal if I need to. He's got a tackle. That's fine. And moves that can attack first. I didn't read what he started there, so I have no idea what he said. Uh, I don't think it's going to kill unless we get a crit. Uh, no. Oh, he couldn't move. Does he have Truant? I think he has Truant. Oh, that's very unfortunate. We're gonna go with a headbutt to finish him off. Uh, Foe's Onyx fainted. Gained 95 XP, and he has a Haunter. So that's the, that's a starter, obviously. I forgot about that. So yeah. Honestly, I kind of wish that I got the Haunter in the last episode, but I'm fine with the Dermanitan. He's doing wonders for me, so I'm not gonna complain. We'll go with the Fire Fang again. Hit the Haunter, and the Haunter is down in one shot. So that is perfect. And we defeat Nurse Florentina. Losing to you means that I still have a lot to learn. God, I don't know if I can keep this Sharon voice up. I might have to change it up at some point. So learning to use items well is definitely important then. Oh, oh here, Daniel, I'll give you these berries. Fuck, I keep forgetting to use the voice. I got orange berries. Okay, that's very nice of you, Sharon. If you give a berry, if, if you... <laughs> no. Mm. If you give a Pokemon this kind of berry to hold, it will eat it to heal up to it when its HP goes down about. But if you give Pokemon man-made items that potions to hold, they can't use them. Well, good luck then. And you're just gonna keep looking at the chalkboard. Uh, oh, I didn't mean to do that. Okay. Here's the more status conditions. Ugh, excuse me. Gotta let out a yawn there. You know, you know how it be. Uh, no, I, I didn't want to do that. Okay. So let's leave the trainer school. Uh, it doesn't look like there's anything else to do here. And let's see what else is around the city before we head straight into the gym battle. What's in this building? Ooh, I like that camera shift. That is... Dude, look at how far technology has come. <laughs> okay. Uh, lately, I have a favorite model. Her name is Lisa, and her Pokemon are strong, too. Ooh, dude. <laughs> I might not want to check out what kind of magazines he's been looking at. Or uh... Yeah, uh, I'm sure there's some uh, nice pictures of Lisa in there. Uh, his favorite model. Um... 
You tell a strong trainers over the number of gym badges they have. If you're a trainer, you should challenge gym, ba gym leaders and collect a lot of badges. Do any of you give me an item? The GTA... Okay, that's the online stuff. Uh, don't care about that, because obviously, can't do it. Uh, what do you want? I've trained only fire type Pokemon. Hey, me too! They're my favorites. Uh, yeah, they're some of my favorites. I don't know if they're my total favorites. They had no chance in battle against water type Pokemon. Maybe I should try to train them. Yeah, for sure. Uh, what are you? You have a nice Pokemon there. Quite hard to train six Pokemon at once. So I've heard some trainers focus on training three Pokemon at a time. Yeah, that's a good strategy. Uh, I think that's what I did in my last thing, actually, in my last sleep block, actually. Actually, I think I had four. Because I had Giratina, Feraligator, Gyarados. Well, really five. Because Giratina, Gyarados, Feraligator, Jirachi, and Mew. Mew, obviously, spoiler alert, died right before the Elite Four. Because he got locked into rollout and then got bodied by an Electabuzz. But, so, I think we're fine. Uh, so, three or four seems to be the way to go. What do you want, little girl? Stop running away from me. Er, um, yeah, you do know more stuff. Okay, nothing over here. There is an item down there. Can I go get that somehow? Uh, we'll figure that out in a second. Uh, it's Simon Old Factory at the place we call the Dream Yard. There's no usual Pokemon that can make dreams up here. Sounds like Jirachi. Shreetown City Gym Leader, he always uses Pokemon that I don't like. Okay, uh, I'm not gonna keep talking to random people. Wait, why did you change? You are a different person now. Oh, so I had to go to trainer school first before the gym, I can even go into the gym. Okay. Yes? What, what voice should I give you? You look like the preppy type, so. Yes, yes, I am a gym leader of this town. You are right. You want to challenge the gym. In that case, what was the first Pokemon you chose? Tepig. Actually, it was a Dermian and Tamek. Close enough. It's still a fire type. I see. It's weak against water type Pokemon. I think you need to prepare to face that type. For example, try training your Pokemon in the Dream Yard. Please excuse me now. Alright. Uh, okay. Let's check out all the other buildings first. And I know there's stuff to the west that I have not seen yet, so we're gonna check that out too. Vol. I'm just trying, checking to see if any of these got, oh, I can't go upstairs, because Fennel said she was testing something and she had a scary look on her face. Okay, I'm gonna need to remember this building and come back to it at some point, because that's actually kind of interesting. I wasn't expecting that. Uh, okay. What do you have? Do you have enough footballs? Take, hey, a great ball, yo, okay. So we got a great ball, perfect. Can't have too many footballs, perfect. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate that. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Wait. Yes, okay. I thought he was gonna... I thought he was the name raider for a second, so I would have remembered where he was in case I forget the nickname of Pokemon. Is there anywhere else I can go? I know there's an item over here, so let's grab this Master Ball real quick. Uh, a relic vase. What the hell does that do? I don't even know if that's a thing in Gen 4. Uh, by the way, in case anyone is new to the series, the reason I keep mentioning Gen 4, I grew up with Gen 4. I really only know Gen 4, and, like, before that. I know Gens 1 through 4. I don't know a lot about Gen 5. I know a little bit. Uh, but my knowledge continues to decrease as I go up from Gen 4. So, I'm going to keep referring to Gen 4 because that's the generation that I know the best. Uh, okay. So, a relic base. Uh, ooh, okay. Buy for a high price. Perfect. Okay. So, where's the Pokemart so I can go sell that? Oh, yeah. I forgot. It's in the Pokemon Center. Again, I forgot that they merged the uh, Mart and the Center in this game. Can I sell you this relic face? Oh, you can't buy... What? Oh, a Maniac will buy... Okay. So, I have to give it to the Maniac. I don't know where a Maniac is. But hopefully we find one fairly soon so I can get a lot of money. Are you a trader? Uh clearly not. Do that TM works? Okay. Um Oh, is this the gen where they made TMs no longer one using it? Let me talk to you again. You can use it over Okay, so it's not one time using this gen. Now that's gonna be really useful because TMs are randomized. So if I find a TM, it could be a really good move that you don't normally get from a TM. Now can I look at these? Uh, statues I cannot. Uh, oh, fuck you. You're gonna really block my way like that. That's annoying. Okay, what's down here? Alright, so there's an item over here. Uh, it's Dust Ball. Dust Balls are really nice because they are basically Ultra Balls. If you're in caves or at night. 
Uh, so that's gonna be insanely useful. Uh, any hidden items over here or anything? No, it doesn't seem like it. Okay, so let's head to the north then, because they're already headed west. Uh, what are you? You don't seem to have any gym badge? Okay, so I need... So I need a gym badge. Okay, so I, I actually can't get by. Okay. Alright. So, let's go challenge the gym leader then. Uh, I believe I've done everything there is to do in this city. I've already gone down here. No, I haven't. Who are you? I got another dust ball. Okay, perfect. Alright, solid. Okay. So, am I healed? I'm, it's not like I'm worried. I'm more worried about PP than anything. I'm not healed. So let's go heal before I challenge the gym. I really would have liked to get an encounter before the gym. Because once I get out of this gym, I'm probably going to be close to level 20. And at that point, I don't know how I'm going to catch a Pokemon if they're like level 8. I might just have to throw a Great Ball at it without damaging it, which is really going to suck. But hopefully we don't level up too much here so that I can... Um, actually catch a Pokemon. Now, again, I like that camera shift. Oh, I've seen this gym before in playthroughs of this game. I saw, like, a playthrough, like, the first couple episodes of a playthrough of this game, and I didn't really pay attention to much, but I remember this gym. I don't remember what the puzzle was. I just remember the appearance of this gym. So, hello, I'm... Cl I need a voice for Clyde. You look like Stan Lee. So, uh, let's give you, like, a Stan Lee voice. God, I'm gonna butcher this so bad. Uh, what a, uh, no, I'm not gonna do a standy voice. I'm just gonna try for an old guy. Oh, fuck you, phone. Uh, okay, that's gonna ring for a second. I'm actually gonna mute my mic for one second. Hang on. Alright, phone stop ringing. Uh, okay. Hello, I'm Clyde. I'm the guide for trainers challenging a Pokemon gym. We appreciate your challenging the gym. Take this to commemorate the occasion. A fresh water, so that's like a super potion, right? It's 50 HP. He's not gonna tell me, so I will check myself. It is indeed 50 H H HP. Wait, how many potions did I have? Uh, 28, 20 points. And you know what? I just realized I'm actually. I am going to take this item from Donkey Kong and instead. I'm going to give him the Orin Berry. Okay. So, let's talk to you, first of all. Welcome. Welcome! We are very proud of our menu, which we adjust to suit each trainer. So it's like a restaurant theme, I guess? Okay. So, what do these panels do? Well, it obviously wants me to step on the fire type panels. Let's see what this does. Okay, so that's wrong. What? Oh, so I have to step on the panel that's super effective against it. Okay. I mean, I can just avoid... Oh, no, I can't avoid you. No, wow, you see from a long distance. Okay. I wasn't going to avoid him anyway. I was going to go battle him anyway, but I wanted to see if it was possible to avoid him. Okay. Our first battle inside of a gym. Not technically a gym battle yet, though. I just realized the die has been off the screen for like a million years, and... Okay. My apologies, I've had the Tornadus this thing up on the screen for, what, the last 20 minutes uh, since I battled that Tornadus, so I'm I'm very sorry for that. Uh, he's got a Venipede. Uh, I'm not totally sure what type this is, but it looks like a Bug type, so I'm just going to go with a Firefang. Uh, maybe a Bug Grass or something like that, so it'd be four times weak. Either way, it's super effective, so we body it. Hey, we get 119 XP, and we beat Lazy Leo. That's a very nice name, actually. Lazy Leo. You don't look lazy. You look like a hard worker. Uh, so I'm a, I am apologize that the game re gave you such a disrespectful name. Okay, so this is water type, so if I am correct in my theory, it should be the grass type panel. Yep. Alright. Moving along. Another trainer that I cannot avoid. Now we've, we went from the waiter to the waitress. Specialty of Striaton Gym, the full course. Trainer Deluxe, I'm your second course. Okay, course number two. 
A Lomomola. What are all these Pokemon? Jesus Christ. Well, okay, this is a, obviously a water type, which is kind of a problem. But I think a headbutt should just kill this thing. Uh, it doesn't look that strong. Hopefully it's not. Okay, so it does half, half health. Uh, water Sport's annoying, because that's going to weaken Fire Fang, but we still have three other moves, so that's fine. Uh, so a little mole goes down. Can we get to level 17? Yes, we will. Do we learn a new move by chance? Seems like it. We get Swagger. Now, I don't know what's going on when I learn a move. It just kind of freezes for a sec, and then it says, should a move be deleted and replaced with Swagger? Uh, I don't think so. I think we're good, unless I want to get rid of Rage... But honestly, Swagger's, Swagger can be really bad. Uh, it's only really good against like special attackers, so that you don't really help them, you, on, you only hurt them. Uh, but if you do this against like a good physical attack in Pokemon, you're going to sharply raise their attack, even if they hit themselves. If they hit you, you're kind of fucked. So I'm going to just go ahead and... You know what? No. I'm going to forget right... Fuck you, phone! Stop ringing! God damn it, hang on. I am so sorry about that. I I wish the phone would stop ringing. I can't help it. Anyway, yeah, I'm gonna get rid of Rage because I haven't used it at all. I don't think it's gonna help us much. I think Swagger is a slightly better move than Rage. Okay, so we learned Swagger. It's got a lit, again, all these Pokemon I've never seen before. Now you look like a ghost type, fire ghost probably, if I had to guess. Uh, let me check what you are, Litwick. Litwick. Yes, it is a fire ghost. Okay. So, in that case, we will go with a rollout. Can I get a one-shot? I can get a one-shot. Point! Really? Okay, that's a little bullshit, not gonna lie. I don't have an antidote, do I? I'm not using a full heal on this. I think I can take the gym leader without healing it. Okay, we already haven't taken damage. You do take damage while you walk around from poison, right? in this gen? Do you? Maybe you don't. That's taking a lot of steps. Alright. Welcome to the Striaton City Pokemon Gym. What the f- Who the fuck are you? Wait, what the hell? Ah, chili! I like things up with fire-type Pokemon! I am a water-type specialist. No, that just sounds like the same. Okay. I'm a water type specialist, and my name is Cress. Pleased to make your acquaintance. And my name is Salon. I like grass type Pokemon. Um, you see, as for why the three of us mm, are all here, is well, er. Uh... Oh, enough. Listen up. The three of us will decide whom you'll battle. It'll be based on having the first Pokemon. Oh, shit. Okay. That is indeed the case. And the partner you ch first chose was Fire-type, it seems. That is correct. It shall be I and my esteemed Water-types that you must face in battle. Alright, so that's interesting. I didn't even... I was not expecting that. I was expecting a Water-type gym, but I wasn't expecting it to be, like, three different types. Now, what if I go talk to you guys? Oh man, I was all fired up, too. Ahem. I always seem to lose the timing of of the dance, like that. True enough, I did want to want to have a Pokemon battle with you. I, he seems like so shy, I don't think I gave him the right voice, but whatever. Alright, let's battle Cress. What incredible luck for you. You get to battle the best among the three of us. That's some cocky shit, but this gym leader music is fucking lit! You are Jimmy! And you're actually a dude? Is this a dude or a chick? I can't even tell. Well, his name's Jimmy, so we're gonna assume he's a dude. God, stop sending out Gen 5 Pokemon. What the fuck are you? Are you a Steel Grass type? Ferret Horn? <sighs> now I gotta look you up too. Airlock. Okay, hold up. What the fuck is Ferret Horn? Grass Steel. Okay, so that's gonna be four times weak to fire. Funny that you thought you'd be super effective against fire, and now you're four times weak to it. So we'll go with the Fire Fang. Should body it. It does. Ferret Horn fainted. 437 XP is level 18. 
Alright. And we're hurt by poison, that's fine. Pile of swine, you are also very weak to fire. So that is good. Get fire fanged. <laughs> Supposed to have things super effective to fire. Has an ice type and a grass steel type. Okay. Lose me? I don't believe this. Alright, so we get almost 2k for that. Why? You're quite remarkable. It's the Pokemon League's rule, so please take this badge. That's a cool ass looking badge. I like that. Alright. Makes sense with the water, fire, and grass. Uh, yeah, there you go. If I had a special layout with the gym badge thing that I know a lot of people do, I would put it on there. Unfortunately, I don't, so just imagine a gym badge getting added to our collection. So we get the first gym badge. Uh, Daniel received the trio badge from Cress. Gym badges are proof of a trainer's abilities. If you have one badge, a Pokemon, including traded Pokemon up to level 20, will obey you without question. We also want you to have this. Is this a TM? It is a TM. Shy. Sh <laughs> Why can I not speak English today? Psy Shock. Then no, it, it doesn't. It contains Psy Shock. It that that's not true. Although so, workup would be cool. I workup would be a really nice move to have. But okay. Okay, so let's see if Dormantan can learn Psy Shock. Psy Shock. 80 power, 100 accuracy, 10 PP. Physic wait. So it's a what? Why is it a special move, but it does physical damage? What? That doesn't even make sense to me, like... So it would use regular attack and regular defense? Then what does special have to do with it? I have no idea. I, okay. Uh, can Darmanitan learn it? He can indeed. So we're going to actually wait on it. We're going to see what our next encounter is, because we're going to get an encounter in this episode, I'm like 90% sure. We'll see if it's a psychic type or anything like that, and then we'll decide who best to teach this Pokemon. Or to teach this move to. I thought you were going to talk to me. Who the fuck are you? Oh, you're the dude that yeah, I couldn't go upstairs because of. What voice do I give you? And you're a chick, so... Said she was experimenting on things, so let's go with the mad scientist vibe. Hey there! I, oh god. Okay. Fuck it, we're sticking with that voice. Hey there! I'm Fennel. Professor Juniper asked me to give you something. Please follow me. Alright. This is the worst, least accurate voice I've ever seen. But okay. You're going to meet all of the Pokemon in the. I sound like Yoda, I just really. <laughs> I gave her a fucking Yoda voice. Okay. You're going to meet all of the Pokemon in the Unova region. Right, am I? <laughs> the stairs. Right here they are. <laughs> what the fuck? What am I doing with my life? Okay. Upstairs, my room is here. Go upstairs. On you must come. <laughs> fuck. Why am I doing this? I'm Fennel. So, like I said, I'm a scientist, as you can see. In fact, trainers, the subject I'm researching is. My friend, Professor Juniper, is from college. I, I, I'm not even getting the order of the words right. To help you guys, me, she asked. So, something I'll give you to help y you. <laughs> Why can I not speak English today? Okay. Uh, at a loss for words. I think that's a good title for this video, for this episode. At a loss for words. A hidden machine this is for you. Oh, it's for cut. There we go. Okay, so we can get to the dream yard. We can get the encounter at the dream yard. We can get an item that was over there. And maybe we'll swap out. If the encounter is bad, we can swap it out for the snow run. Okay. Some moves there are that a Pokemon can use, not fighting when it is. With this hidden machine, teach your Pokemon a move called Cut, you can. 
Cut down a small tree, it can. Use the hidden machine as many times as you want, you can, like a TM. Isn't that great? It's difficult to make a Pokemon forget a hidden move once it learns it. Ask you a favor I'd like to do. A place called the Dream Yard on the outskirts of Striaton City there is. Some of the Dream Mists I like. A Pokemon there called Muna. Off it gives. With that, Game Sync I'll be able to use to collect save files of various traders. Okay. I wasn't really paying attention to it. Wait, 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 what was that fucking painting? Hang on. What was this? It's nothing, apparently. And what the fuck is this thing over here? What are you? Who are you? Who are you? You a trainer? Do you use the Pokemon? Oh, you may see the box system. There you go. Sure. Impressive. There's Pokemon you often use in your battles. You can... Okay, cool. And what the fuck is this thing? Oh, it's a PC. Okay. So don't worry about that. Uh, anything on the computer? Okay. So, let's go to the Dream Yard. Get the moon dust or whatever the fuck she was asking for. Get an encounter. Go back to Fennel. Help her with the game sync. And we'll be golden. So we battled you. Fuck, we have to teach Darmanitan cut. Fuck. This cut's still 50 base power because it's literally just tackle then. It's worse than tackle. Fuck. Okay, we have to teach Dermanitan cut. So we're booting up an HM. T it contains cut. You cannot learn cut. Okay. So, in that case, we have to go and learn... We have to go and find an HM slave. At a previous route. So this is not an encounter. This is just... We're catching a Pokemon. Hopefully they can learn cut. So that... We can actually progress forward in the game. Now, where did we come from again? Oh, wait, we can go up here. So I, we, maybe we can get an encounter up here, actually. Okay. Fuck, I can't, I still, fuck you, okay. I just, I just need an encounter! Fuck! I don't even know where the route I came from is. I haven't been able to find it. It's not down here, is it? Did we come from the south? Where did we come from? Where did we come from? Where did we go? Where did we come from, Cod and I, Joe? Because <sighs> that's the dream yard. I'm so lost. Oh, here! Here we go. Okay. So this is route two. Uh, oh, what? There's a Pokemon. Wait, what the fuck? Is, what the fuck is that? Okay, there's a Pokemon there, I guess. Alright, so this is not an encounter. We cannot use this thing in the battle. It's a Hippowdon. Can Hippowdon learn cut? Let me check. Now, how do I learn cut? Uh... Okay, I still can't figure it out. Hang on. Okay, how do I HM moves? Uh, this is Gen 4. I'm sure it's the same. Where the fuck are HM? Oh, here we go. So it can't learn time. Shit, okay. So we gotta run. I never healed, I just realized. So let's just speed up here while we get while we get this encounter. Okay, I'm sure Apong can learn cut, right? Uh, Apong... Fuck, where is Apom? Uh... Apom, move learn sets... Yes, I can learn cut. Okay, perfect. So, I feel like I'm gonna... I feel like I'm gonna kill this thing, though. We'll throw a nest ball at it first. See if that'll catch it. If not, we'll throw great balls. I'd really like to not throw great balls if I can avoid it. Considering this isn't even an encounter. Fuck, you're just gonna get out of it immediately, really? Fuck. Anything I do to this thing is gonna kill it. I only have one great ball. Do I throw the great ball? I'll 
throw the premier ball at it. See if that'll even get it to shake. Oh, what? What? Oh my god. Okay, so we're throwing balls. We're throwing regular Pokeballs. Should be fine. Okay, I'm gonna speed up through this battle. Uh, okay. Damn it. I'm gonna have to heal Darmanitan at a certain point. Oh, use your arm, Barry. Good job. Damn it. <sighs> Fuck. Stay in the fucking ball, please. Fuck, I gotta heal. I don't care about your sand attack. I really don't want to throw this great ball, because I don't know when I can actually get great balls. Fuck! Stay in the ball, you little shithead. I want to die. Oh my god. Just stay in the ball. Stay in the ball! Stay in the ball! Oh my god. Come on! Oh my god, I hate this. I hate this so much. I need to heal again. I only have potions left. I don't want to use my full heal on this stupid poison. Oh, wait. Please stay in the ball. Oh my god, didn't even shake. I have to heal again. How many balls do I have left? Did I just throw the Great Ball? Because the Great Ball should catch it. Fuck it, let's just throw the Great Ball. If this doesn't catch... Thank you. Oh my god, okay. At least we have the two Dust Balls left. Ah, you're just gonna be named Slave. I'm not gonna roll a die for you because you're not technically on the team. So you are going to be slave. Oh, slave. Okay. So let's go back to Striaton. Let's go heal. First, let's teach a Palm Cut. Actually, would love to rest my Pokemon. Okay, and now we are going to heal. Okay, stop. Shut up and destroy. We are going to he uh, not heal. Teach a palm cut. Uh, slave learn cut. Perfect. Okay, and now we can go to the dream yard. I'm going to speed up to get over there because it's getting really tedious. Go on to the dream yard. Cut this tree down. Okay, and we are. Oh! There's Bianca. Hi, Daniel. Are you looking for the mysterious Pokemon too? Wow, it's gonna fucking cut in front of me like that, you bitch. I'm just really, really wondering how showing dreams works. Okay. That was a noise. Hey! Do you hear a sound come from the other side of that wall? Come on, let's go see! Uh, okay. Let's do it. Wait, uh, you're not following me. Okay, I thought you'd follow me. Holy shit, it's right fucking there. Okay. Hi. Moon. Oh, wait. Oh, fuck, it's you. Fucking Team Plasma. We found you, Mona! Come on, come on, make some dream nest. Moo! 
Huh? Who are you? What are you doing? Are you talking about us? We're Team Plasma. We battle day and night to eliminate the Pokemon from foolish humans. What are we doing? The Pokemon Muna and Murushana emit a mysterious vapor called Dream Mist, which shows people dreams. We're going to use that to make people want to release their Pokemon. We'll show them dreams to manipulate their hearts. Jesus. Muna. Come on, spit out that Dream Mist. You're kicking a Pokemon to make it give out Dream Mist? That's mean. Why? Your trainer's too, right? That's... That's right. We're Pokemon trainers too, but we're fighting for a different reason. Unlike you two, we're fighting for the freedom of Pokemon. And setting Pokemon free means that we win Pokemon battles and take Pokemon by force. So on that note, we are going to rescue your Pokemon from you. What? Don't hurt Daniel. Alright. I healed. Yes, I healed. Okay. Alright. So. Lady Mia sounds... Oh, Seedra's a problem. How much are you... How, what, what level are you? Level 10? Okay, that's fine. <sighs> Alright, we'll go for a headbutt. Is it gonna be a one-shot? It is gonna be a one-shot. Perfect. And we're level 19. Okay. Oh, you're literally on the move. Facade. Okay. Facade. Yeah. So basically, just headbutt him. Instead of having a chance of the target flinching, it doubles the power when having a status condition. <sighs> Which is better? I don't know. But I think both of them are better than Swagger, so I'm gonna get rid of Swagger. Alright, we feed Lady Mia. Okay. Were you not taking them seriously because they're kids? Well, whatever, I'm next. Alright, another Team Plasma battle. This reminds me of the Team Galactic battle in Floroma Town, where you have to battle them back to back. Snorlax. Jesus, alright. You are a big boy. Big boy. So we're gonna go with a fire tag because it... Stab, it's probably my highest damage. Holy shit, it one shot? I didn't think it one shot. Snorlax is a tank, Jesus, okay. Oh, I accidentally... I don't know what I just did, but I hit a button, so... Ignore whatever just popped on screen. Okay. I can't believe we lost, but we have to obtain the Dream List. Come on, make with the Dream List. Knock it off. Oh shit, it's Getsis. What are you two doing goofing off? What the fuck? What the fuck? Okay. We, Team Plasma, shall separate Pokemon from foolish people. Jesus, stop it! If you cannot fulfill your duties... Th this isn't... Get this! When he is gathering followers! Or get this when he's trying to control people by tricking them with speeches. Yeah, this is gets us when a plan has failed, and he's about to issue punishment. At any rate, let's hurry and say we're sorry so he forgives us. There goes gets us. Oh, that's the other one. What the fuck is that coming out of his mouth? Looks like an umbilical cord. Jesus Christ. Sha! <laughs> Why is that the first voice that came to my mind? <laughs> There's the calm and peaceful. Ooh. Oh god, that voice crack. Welcome to Voice Crack City, I am the mayor. And then there's just Cha <laughs> What was that just now? That person called Getsis appeared all over the place, and it wasn't real, right? Could it have been a dream? Oh shit, dream missed. Boom! And that Pokemon. Oh! Oh, that's... Wait, I couldn't. Came over, so I did. Is that Musharna? Musha! Oni. Oni. God, I 
can't do high pitch voices. <laughs> oh, they left the dream mist. Something. Something happened, did it? Oh, Fennel. Well, you see, Muna was here, but Team Plasma and Muna and Musharna came and it showed us something like a dream. And then Team Plasma followed that, I think I did. Musharna evolved from Muna, see? So seeing Muna in trouble, it used its power-making dreams into reality to save Muna. <clears throat> Which means a second wait. Dream mist is this. I complete I can complete my research with this. Come to my house later, okay? You two must. <laughs> Phew, how random was that? Daniel, why don't you go to Fennel's house? Me? Well I'm gonna go look for the Pokemon we saw just now. Can I just get an encounter, please? I just want an encounter, that's all I want. Give me this encounter. Dream Yard Encounter, what is it? Ooh, an Espeon. Okay, well, let's get the let's get the dice roll. Please be something good. Ah, come on! Are you kidding me? Oh, I never even bought Pokeballs, so I'm probably not gonna catch it anyway. Yeah, if this facade kills, it's over anyway. Oh, yeah. What was I gonna do? I had a four. God damn it. Would have been a nice backup, but yeah, that was. I won't. I'm not. I don't want to waste some of my few balls on that. So, I won't. Okay. Uh, can I? Oh, I can go get this item over here. It's in here. Can't go anywhere else. Okay. Well, maybe I can actually. Hang on. Oh. What could I have gotten? Oh, Zubat. <laughs> yeah, no thanks. Yeah, no thanks. I'm just gonna run from you. Okay, just pick up this item, please. A pretty wing. No idea what the fuck that is, but hopefully it's something good. Pretty wing. Why? What the f what's its purpose then? Oh my fucking god. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Why? What what is the point of that? Oh, I think I know what it's for. I think I know what it's for. I think it's for contests. Okay, that would make sense. By the way, you guys are probably wondering why this episode's going on for so long. It's cause the story all happened at the 45 minute mark. So wait, what's up here? Why do I keep running into Pokemon on the last tile? Oh, a Leaf Dude, I love Leafeon. I think Leafeon's my favorite, um, my favorite Eevee, Eeveelution. Too bad I would've had zero ways of catching it. Too bad I can't catch it anyway. Uh, anything over here? Hey, he had nine Oh, I can just go over there. So, oh wait, I can come around here. Okay, there we go. Okay, let's get this item up here. Let's grab this master ball real quick. Sweetheart, okay. I don't know what that does, I just realized. <laughs> I'm, I'm like, okay, and then I'm like, wait, it's a medicine? I don't know what that is. Okay, so it's a potion, all right, that's fine. Okay, and then a smooth rock. Now that, does that boost the power of normal type moves? No, it extends the duration of sandstorm, okay. Now that does not help me at all, but I wonder if that also affects the ability, um, I forget what the ability is called, uh, the sandstorm. I forget what it's called. I don't think it's just called sandstorm. Now, can I get over to that grass over there? Yes, I can. Wait, no, I can't. Wait, now how do I get over there? Shit, I don't think there's a way for me to get over there. Let me make sure there's no way for me to get there. Because I'd have to go around here. God, it's on the last tile every time. 
Another Espeon. Just run, please. Okay. Oh, there's not a leaf stone. Okay, so that could evolve certain things. Um, might just sell it to be honest, but okay. So we're gonna head back. We're gonna go heal. I'm gonna buy balls because I know I'm gonna forget to. And then I think we're gonna wrap things up because although I really want to go check out what's to the west, the dude cock blocked me twice. Uh, I'm gonna cock block myself a third time because. Uh, this episode's been going for a long time, and I don't want to keep keep us going for too long. So, heal my balls, Nurse Joy. Thank you very much. Um, thank you. And let's buy some Pokeballs before I forget. I have a lot of money. Oh, oh, we can buy Great Balls. Well, shit, I didn't think we could. This is so much earlier than you usually get to buy balls. All right, well, I'm going to buy... Hmm. Let's buy five Great Balls. We'll buy five Super Potions. And then we'll call that a day. Oh wait, can I sell you that pretty wing since it doesn't do anything? 100, sure. Alright, so. We are done here, it looks like. Alright. Let me go ahead and save the game. And while it saves. Thank you guys so, 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 so much for watching. If you guys did enjoy, please don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Comment down below if you want to have a chance at getting a Pokemon named after you. Unfortunately, we didn't catch a Pokemon in today's episode, so I couldn't name Pokemon after anyone. I don't even think I got any comments on the last episode, but if I do, I will name the next Pokemon after whoever comments. If I don't, well, we'll figure it out from there. But, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Remember, upload schedule Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. Ho if everything goes according to plan and I don't hit problems again, which I don't think I will, this episode should be coming to you at two on Tuesday at 6 o'clock. Okay? Tuesday at 6 o'clock. Tuesday, June 12th. By the way, not Tuesday, June 19th or anything. Although there will be an episode that day because it's every Tuesday. Anyway, I'm rambling. Uh, one more thing I wanted to note. We are actually getting really close to 100 subscribers. And I know that's not a lot. You know. Because there are people out there. I mean, PewDiePie is like 60 million or something. But for me, I've, I've never had more than like 20 subscribers. I'm not used to that. And now I have 83. And hopefully that number is going to continue to grow and grow as the channel progresses. Uh, and soon enough, we'll be at 100. So, I might be planning something for that. I'm not totally sure. I have a couple things in mind. But, just be on the lookout for that. If you want to see that, if you want to see whatever I have planned. Again, nothing's guaranteed, so I'm not going to say anything yet. I'm not going to say any of my ideas. But, I do have a couple ideas for what I can do. Um, I'll probably do another sleep lock, but I don't think that would be the, the only thing I do. Why the fuck are you standing right in front of me, bitch? Okay. Um, yeah. I will probably do a one, another sleep block. Maybe of one of the Gen 5 games. Or maybe of, like, Emerald or something. Since I'm already doing a playthrough of Gen 5. Um, but I would also have something else planned. And you'll just have to wait and see what that is. If you want to see what that is, go ahead and subscribe. Remember, don't forget to like and comment. I've said that so many times now. Uh, one more thing. And I know I've been rambling for a hell of a long time. Every episode that I do for this for this series is streamed on Twitch the day before it's uploaded. So if you want to see the episodes being recorded live, go ahead and comment down below, or not. <laughs> like I said, like the title says, I'm at a loss for words, okay? I don't comment down below. I mean, do comment down below. But if you want to check out my Twitch, my Twitch is twitch.tv slash dv2890. Got a pretty big following over there too. I stream, obviously, the Pokemon, but I also stream Fortnite, I stream Overwatch, occasionally I'll stream 2K, maybe I'll stream Trials or something, maybe I'll stream H1, maybe I'll stream Madden occasionally, uh, so I stream a lot of games, maybe Rocket League, um, and if I get any new games, I'm considering getting Detroit, uh, I'm considering getting a God of War, when Cyber Cyberpunk 2077 comes out, I'm gonna get that, so I'll probably be streaming all of those, so go ahead. 
follow my Twitch, subscribe to my YouTube, like the video, comment, give me your social security number, give me your credit card number, uh, the three numbers on the back and the expiration date, uh, comment that down below for a special reward in the next episode, which is getting your Pokemon named after you, and all I will take from your credit card is all your money, okay? So anyway, after this 10 minute rambling session has ended, my name is Daniel, aka DV2890, aka Von Savage, aka Ferret Productions, and I will catch you guys on the next video. Thanks so much for all it. Couldn't even say thanks for watching. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, take care. Bye bye.